Hello, everybody. It's John Legend here. I'm taking over Chrissy's site for a second. Just one second. I just made her some very special quesadillas. The best eggy, bacony, cheesy, buttery quesadillas. Ooh, you think you're so cool. Oh, man. We're gonna start by frying one slice of bacon. I do it usually on medium high. We like to serve it with a really quick homemade guacamole, which is basically avocado with a little garlic and salt. They're gonna kill you for saying that's guacamole. So we like to serve our quesadillas with a little quick avocado spread. It's not technically guacamole maybe because it's just avocado, garlic, and salt, but it serves the function of guacamole and it's really quick. I make this avocado spread for Chrissy almost every day for avocado toast. I salt to taste. It's probably like a quarter to a half a teaspoon of salt, but just keep tasting it until you like it. Mash it up, mash it up. We have a very sensitive smoke alarm in this house. Almost every time I make bacon, I set out the smoke alarm. So we'll see if that happens today. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I said that. All right, bacon's ready. The house didn't burn down. Now we're going to finish our avocado spread. I just do one small clove of garlic. Throw it in there. Adds a nice little bite to the avocado spread. Stir it up some more. And then you taste it. See if it's salty enough. Perfect, okay. Next item on the agenda is we're gonna scramble some eggs to put in our little filling. Three scrambled eggs. I like to put a little salt into everything, not just one particular ingredient or another. Scramble the eggs on, I'm gonna say medium low because I want them to be kind of soft and not get hard too fast. I like to retain some moisture going on throughout the whole quesadilla. I like to fry the quesadillas at medium temperature and I use lots of butter. Okay, I'm gonna slice this bacon up, pretty small pieces. The components of the quesadilla are simply scrambled eggs, sliced bacon, and American cheese, that's what Chrissy likes, okay? If you like cheddar, if you like whatever other cheese, put it in there, but American melts very nicely. My quesadilla technique is simple. Put lots of butter in the pan to begin with. I'm doing salted butter. You can do unsalted, whatever you want. I don't measure it, I just melt it to kind of cover the bottom of the pan so it's a nice coat. Then throw this on, first tortilla, and start getting this ready to go. Put the egg on there, and I'm gonna sprinkle my bacon in there so it looks like that. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna put my cheese on top. Three American slices. One, two, three. I'm gonna split these in two and put them on the side. And then you're just gonna brown it on each side. So this side is browning and I'll put the other one on top. Mash it down and it's cooking. I think we're ready. Perfect, okay. Now, so that's how one side looks. I like to take the butter out, clean it up, and then start with a new batch of butter for the other side, because I don't want the butter to be too brown and make everything scorch too quickly. This side is nice and beautiful and brown and buttery, and we're gonna do the same to the other side. We're almost done. I like to serve it with our avocado spread and some salsa. Don't you love the sound of sizzling butter? Mm-hmm. Okay, I think we're ready. Beautiful. Both sides, nice and brown, crispy, buttery. The inside is egg, cheese, bacon. It's gonna be savory, creamy, melty, all the things you want it to be. The last thing to do is slice it. And then present it nicely to the one you love because presentation makes everything taste better. Your family will love it so much. You'll be doing a happy dance and so will they.